Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Okay, well, now that I've lost everyone who has decided to click off because of my excellent singing, if anyone is brave enough to stick around, welcome to my reaction to the second Doctor Who special, Wild Blue Yonder. That's my cat jumping off of the table. You might see that a lot. So I had said in my reaction to the Star Beast, which is available now on my channel, so if you have not watched that one, please check it out, that if any of the old faces appear, it's going to be in this one, that I had a feeling. But that feeling has changed because, you know, people on the internet can't keep things quiet. And I haven't seen any spoilers, which is a good thing, regarding anyone appearing. And honestly, I'm starting to worry that we're not going to see anyone. And some people might think that that's fine, but honestly, I don't think so. Personal opinion. Know. You know, they kind of spoiled us a bit with the Day of the Doctor, and so the anniversary specials are a great time to bring out other Doctors. And it's not like that's the first time, you know? They had the five Doctors, the three Doctors, um, there were a couple others, I think. But, you know, they've had series, even in Classic Who, with multiple doctors. So it just seems to me like they could go ahead and do it for the 60th. And maybe they will. You know, maybe if they're not in here, maybe they're saving it all for the giggle. Maybe the giggle is when they all appear. Maybe they're saving everything for the end. I don't know. But as we saw, Donna did recover her memories and she and Ten are off on an adventure. Now they said that they weren't going to reveal much with this, that it was basically supposed to be a surprise. Let's get started. Rachel Melly only did the last one. Oh, Jesus. Hey, I called him. I was singing. Soul. It might not be friendly to him just for like 14. Time you left, where she won't really be waiting. <laughs> this is a time mission. Yeah. 
We saw that on the trailer, but that's still awesome of Donna to do that. I hate to say that, but that did look a bit graphic. It didn't look real. I hate to say it. So it's a TARDIS. It looks like it has a face. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, children, eight, nine, ten. Now, so number ten. Life science. Or something. Oh God! The almost people? Look how she's not reacting. lighting. You know, the Don is on the floor, has like the green lights, and he's in the one with the blue. I love that. I love that with um, 13, they had a lot of like neon colored lighting and like greens and reds and purples. It was awesome. So really good job with the lighting. Well, you told him in the last episode that he knew nothing, so... Was that a reference to eleven? The dropping of the tie. Regenerate. I wouldn't be happy to see him. 
spring time. And Donna's got a memory book. Without dying, which I recommend. Yeah, well, I knew it. I never lost faith. I said, he will have us now. He'll come back and save us. Thank you, Sir Martin. Someone's got me listening to the big one. because we didn't really see him again. You know, they just had him in there at the very beginning and then that was it. So it really was unnecessary to have him in there. And, you know, it was nice for some people to see Wolfert again. I have never been a big fan of Wolf because it was his idiocy that caused Tent to regenerate. Now, I do thank him because he gave us Eleven, who is my favorite doctor, if he hadn't gone in that damn room, Ten wouldn't have had to sacrifice himself and regenerate. So Wolford ain't that great of a person, people. And before anyone comes ee, 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 at the comments, think about it, you know I'm right. And I will be monitoring comments, so if anyone is like, yeah, you know, I have a right to my opinion, I don't particularly care for Wolf. It, again, it was because of him that Ten had to regenerate. He was kind of annoying, too. So it was a pretty good special. You know, I liked how they met these odd creatures who were kind of like doppelgangers and everything. One thing I have noticed, at least with these first two episodes, is that the villains have kind of been like new. Now I know the Meep appeared like in a comic years ago, so the Meep technically isn't new, but in a way it is new. Um, but we've had some new villains in this. Which is good, but I would also think that for a special, that they would try to bring back some of the favorites, like the Daleks or the Cybermen or the Weeping Angels, um, because those are the tried and true villains, you know? And... You know, he talked about being there at the edge of the universe. And it just makes you wonder, like, obviously, space is vast. It is wider and bigger than we can ever imagine. And it does make you wonder if we will ever get the technology where we can travel to the edge. And if there is an edge, you know, some people say everything comes to an end. Maybe. If the universe is big and vast, maybe it doesn't end. Maybe it's infinite. Who knows? When they talked about the stars going out, I was like, uh, <laughs> that's a lot like Journey's End. I, it seems to me like there were some references in this to some of the other doctors, you know, like you had the whole thing with Journey's End and kind of the, where the stars, you know, the stars have gone out, which was Journey's End. Um, the whole thing like with the doppelgangers, which is kind of like the almost people uh, or even um, like Nightmare in Silver, I think it is. I think that's the one where Eleven had that thing on his face. And the whole thing with the robot kind of reminded me of 12, you know, and Bill when they were on that planet with the robots uh and then of course mentioning the flux so bringing in 13 so it was nice to see like these references to some of the other doctors now i had said in the first episode how does donna know that he had changed his face and then this that doppelganger or something said that she read everything and saw everything and knew but then this Donna said she didn't know. Either A, she's lying to him, or B, she really doesn't know, which is why she was asking. So, if she really doesn't know, then once again, I ask the question, how the hell does she know that he changed his face? I mean, 15 years. And that would be 15 years for her. That wouldn't necessarily be 15 years for the doctor. In fact, it was probably a lot more because wasn't 
12 in that confession dial for like a billion years or so. Isn't he like over a billion years old? So it may have been 15 years for her, but it's a billion years for the doctor. So again, that brings me back to the question of how does she know in the first episode that he has changed his face if she can't honestly remember? I mean, she was given the memory, so she would have remembered it then. But then if it went away, then she wouldn't have remembered it. So how would she have known? And maybe that's why she was asking. Thank you for joining me for this reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Hit that notification bell to be alerted of future reacts. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Support me and buy me a coffee if you can. Um, you know, like I said, I we all have a right to our, to our opinions. I personally am not a fan of Wilfred because he caused him to regenerate. So, and I'm allowed to have that opinion. Um, some people like Wilf and that's fine. Um, but just, you know, if you are going to comment about it, don't be an asshole in the comments because I will be monitoring comments and I will delete whatever I, I have to. Um, again, you know, we have a right to our opinions. A lot of people like River Song. I can't stand River Song. So we, we are allowed to have our opinions and think differently and that's perfectly fine. But let's just be kind. All right. I will see you guys sometime in January with the giggle. Bye.